Driving today might feel like you're using a tech gadget, especially if it's a car developed by Chinese automaker Xpeng. First, you'll need your phone to activate the features. And you need to scan it. Then you'll give commands. And when you get to your destination, the vehicle will park itself. These features are all part of Xpeng's strategy to stand out in the world's second biggest market for electric vehicles. The company is competing in China not only with EV leaders like Tesla, the all-electric F-150 Lightning, but also traditional automakers like Ford and GM, which are doubling down on producing electric vehicles too. One high-tech feature automakers are racing to build, full self-driving capabilities. But putting more tech in vehicles creates engineering challenges and also risky behaviors. It's totally asleep. Like Tesla, Xpeng is trying to push the boundaries of integrating tech into our cars and has gotten into a spat with Elon Musk over software. So we went to Xpeng's R&D lab to understand its vision for driving. Xpeng has always operated like a tech startup since it was founded in 2014. Brian Gu is a former JP Morgan executive who took over as Xpeng's vice chairman and president in 2018. Gu was the man behind Xpeng's IPO on the New York Stock Exchange last year that raised $1.7 billion. Using this money, Xpeng hired more engineers and poached talent from China's top tech companies like Tencent and Alibaba. And one of the big goals for this larger engineering team is to develop self-driving technology. Currently, Xpeng offers what it calls advanced driver assistance systems. This controls the car on a highway, but you have to keep your hands on the steering wheel. In five years, Xpeng's goal is to develop a fully autonomous vehicle that doesn't need anyone in the seat. To make this happen, it's invested a lot in software and hardware. Its software decides when the car should accelerate or brake, and that relies on information that comes from a vast array of sensors. Plus, the most recent Xpeng cars are going to be equipped with a special piece of hardware called LiDAR, which uses light waves to map what's around. LiDAR is expensive, typically costing about $1,000 a piece, and Xpeng's latest car will take two. The company will be the first automaker to mass-produce LiDAR-equipped vehicles this year, and its entry point will be lower than $35,000. But Xpeng's tech strategy has some big detractors. LiDAR is, is a fool's errand. Expensive sensors, that are, are unnecessary. Tesla is taking a different approach and instead investing in software that can interpret what's on the road using only regular cameras. Sam Abul Samid is an auto analyst who's been analyzing EV tech features for the past 10 years. During a recent road test of EV self-driving capabilities, Tesla came in first by a big margin. But Abul Samid says Xpeng's system has more potential because of its hardware. A lot of sensors and cameras potentially mean the self-driving software is receiving more useful information about what's on the road. Just compare Xpeng's 32 sensors in its latest sedan to the 12 sensors and 8 cameras in a Tesla vehicle. Tesla didn't respond to a request for comment, but Musk has tweeted several times that its camera-based system is more precise than sensors like LiDAR. But the Tesla and Xpeng rivalry goes beyond choice of hardware. It all came to a head when Tesla filed a lawsuit in 2019 against one of its former employees in the U.S. who had quit to join Xpeng. The lawsuit alleged that he took copies of the source code of Tesla's current driver assistance system in order to hand it over to his new employer. In court documents, Tesla alleged the Chinese company was inspired by and on a mission to beat Tesla and has transparently imitated Tesla's design, technology, and even its business model. In April, Tesla settled the lawsuit with the former employee, who acknowledged he shouldn't have saved the source code, but said he didn't provide it to Xpeng. Xpeng said the engineer no longer works for the company, and that its in-house developed R&D has been its competitive advantage. But if there's one challenge that the two rivals are facing together, it's the uphill battle with the public perception of their prized tech. Edward Niedemeyer is an industry observer who pushes for self-driving technology as a way to make roads safer. Okay, Tesla, let's get this trip started. But he says social media videos showing some drivers operating a Tesla from the back seat shows how dangerous these systems can be when people are not using them properly. Tesla has repeatedly said the features it offers make driving safer. Meanwhile, Xpeng is working on a driver's test, acknowledging that its self-driving system has limitations. 
So while Xpeng hones its self-driving capabilities, engineers are beefing up other tech features like its voice recognition system, or making its battery management software super efficient. Xpeng has already started selling cars in Norway and says these tweaks will help it crack the larger Europe market. And someday, the company plans to have its cars on U.S. roads, right alongside Tesla vehicles.